West Coast Swing, Sugar Pushers. We're gonna work about changing the slot instead of just doing our basic compression, sending the girl away with an anchor step. We're actually gonna talk about having it go lateral or changing the angle of the slot. So let's bring Kerry in. We'll do our basic sugar push. I love that entrance. <laughs> a lot more cute and sexy than what I can do. That's for sure. So if I do a basic sugar, one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Six count, double, triple, triple in the basic form. Now I think that where can I send this sugar push? I could be bringing Kerry in three and send her off. Now I could send her like truly laterally, or I could bring her in one, two, three, and four, and send her diagonally laterally. Really doesn't matter, it's shaping the dance, it's saying, hey, I hear this in the music, I wanna make this sugar push look a little bigger, and I wanna hit that sound, that instrument, that break, or whatever. So let's talk about the compression, the timing of the compression, and then how you, Adjust the angle. Adjust the angle. Yeah, a lot of it's got to do with where I put my body, you know, nose follows toes. Now it's Kerry's toes that are following my nose theoretically, but I'm just shaping that a little bit more. And, you know, obviously when you're social dancing and we get back into these uh, social communities, you, you got to be very wary of your slot. I'm not going to do this in a really crowded room. And cut off your neighbors or perhaps run into a stationary object. And step on their feet. Right. Yeah, so we've got to be careful. But we, West Coast Swing is a very stylish musical dance. So we want to work on first and one, two, three, and. So I'm staying underneath my body and then sending carry away on that four count. So we're and still giving the compression of the traditional three and, but rather than just sending her cart blanche back into her space, ho hum, Shane is starting to shape his body. Yeah, I'm thinking back, slightly diagonal, but I'm still traveling back at much less the distance. I'm shortening the distance for the girl. Three and, and then I'm either gonna swivel and rotate and send her out, or I'm gonna step forward slightly diagonal and then send her away. So even though we're talking a lot about the core or perhaps the ribs and shoulders or the footstep, it's all working in conjunction with one another. He gets low to get grounded, drops his center of gravity down below the floorboards. Then he starts to twist in opposition with his right side coming forward, his left side staying back. When I'm talking about his shoulder coming forward, left hip staying back, yeah. And then sending me, whether it just be with his upper body or with his footstep in the direction that he so chooses. And a lot of his Visual is something I pick up on as well. So as we're coming in oh, here, oh, sorry. as we're coming in here, and I'm trying to be a receptive follower, I'm not just bouncing myself off and sending myself back because I could have just killed this really cool thing you that she's creating. Yeah, I'm coming into the uh, the compression, and I am trying to fill that space, which means on the three, I'm already starting to rotate. He sets me into the and, I'm already starting to even back up sometimes into this position. And then the four gives me a chance to complete this. And stay in that opposition and wait, because you could do a lot of things there without taking this move away from the leader. You could, but in this instance, we're thinking still lead follow. One thing I'd like to talk about is how I'm sending my hips and core away. So I feel the extension. So our connection is getting deeper rather than heavier. If I were to send my head and shoulders away, then I'm gonna pull on him. That's when I become too, uh, heavy and I could pull him off his own four. So I'm taking my core away from his at this point in time. Seven, eight, one, two, three, and four. And then five, six, I'm just gonna hold, and then Kerry's gonna bring the slot back, seven and eight. All right, we'll do it Sorry, Kerry, we started that time. <laughs> five, six, ready, and one, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, Eight, one, and two, and then I dance it out again. So as the fellows probably dance. saw there, I could have been ready on the eight to go ahead and stretch into the one of the next pattern as well as the one of the musical phrase. Um, Shane didn't choose to do that, so I was able to go anchor with the triple and stretch. So I'm there ready to go whenever my leader is ready for me. Um, two things I'd like to hit, well, I'm gonna give you two things in this video. There's a numeral about more of how to style these things. So can I turn it back in the direction if I may? So as he's setting me out, I could 
focus on him, which is nice and safe and can be very stylish, or I could make this a little bit more about presentation. And it doesn't matter really what my hand is doing. My hand could do the same thing on each direction I'm facing, but it really does here draw whoever's watching into our couple or here reach out and touch you just a little bit. So have fun shaping that body as long as we remain receptive as follows and aren't taking over and, yeah. and steamrolling what his intention would be. Then what we're gonna do is just a, a free spin release. Now, if I'm gonna send the girl off on a free spin because I want her to come back on the track, whichever slot we're dancing, then I'm gonna release like a little more throw away that deck of cards or frisbee. Deal the deck of cards, throw that deck of cards. And then that way she'll rotate within the vicinity of where I need her to get back on the track. We finish our anchor and then we could lead out into the next movement. I'm glad you said within the vicinity because the longer you put that arm, she's going to follow that yeah. hand. She's going to try to turn wherever that hand not gonna be finishes. Nasty. Yeah, so you want to keep that hand within the vicinity of your body. The if I send her out and I keep more connected, it probably means I'm going to close it up to do something from closed frame. Nice. Who knows what it's going to be. Got but, options. Yeah, got options. So let's just do that. Uh, five, six, ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, and then I lead it out. Notice how I paused there because I actually, in my mind, thought Shane was going to grab for the closed position since you had said, let's do that here. He didn't. That's all right. I just styled through it. I left, gave him that chance. Pause. He waited for me. Well, let's try and I kept dancing. Five, six, ready, and a one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. <laughs> One of the things I was hoping to talk about in this video is the fact that you can leave this from gentleman's left and trade to the right to send that away, but um, you could also start with the right and yeah. stay with the right. Sometimes you've done a cool move or you've done something where you end up right to left. And there's no reason to try to frantically no. switch back. Use it. One, two, three, and four. My preparation on my body feels a little different, but everything else feels the same because she's coming in from like off one side of the body as opposed to both or off the left side. So I'm going to make sure that I set my body one, two, three, and four. So I'm like prepping that end for the go rather than maybe the four. I'm a little bit earlier, I'm getting rotation in the body so I can send her out on the floor. Yeah, as a follow, again, I will reiterate what I said earlier is I am trying to fill the shape he's in, if it's compression or opposition, I am trying to shape to the body to where I'm filling whatever distance or length or girth or breadth he's giving me. So when he starts to... It feels like you change sides. Ooh, that'll be another video. <laughs> so wherever he starts to shape his body, I get that uh, broadcast early enough. I'm not just going to be here with gooey arms and steamroll over whatever shaping he might be doing to send myself out. So it's yeah. very important that the female or the follow be very receptive. Try to match that connection. And, and you know, I don't know what type of turn the girl's going to do from out here. I pre-spin it. She steps together, close your knee. Um, she might do a, a pivot turn or, I don't know, she might do a one-footed spin. It's really up to the girl. And my job is to be patient and wait. And then I either close it up or I offer that connection. And then if I'm ready to go, we just settle and go. If not, I'll add a triple in there to make sure that she's ready. Remember, we've got to wait for the girl as much as we need to be ready for ourselves. So let's dance it with a little music. So I'll do a basic first and then I'll leave it out.
anyway, we like to have a bit of fun. Uh, practice it. Be prepared that it's not always going to feel right. But, you know, we're everything in dance, learning to adjust to each other. Even when it feels a little weird or a little off time. Have fun, enjoy that. And look for further videos on how to really style this up another level again.